The arm soak is the most important, the most difficult and the most energy consuming technical element in swimming butterfly. On my channel you will find a video all about butterfly technique. There you can learn about the principles of the arm soak. Now in this video we are going to learn how to do that. A great way to train the arm soak movements and to get a sense of how the movements will feel in the water is to perform driving strokes with a rubber band. The rubber band should be quite stretchy, because the idea of these exercises is not to improve the arm muscles, but rather to get the correct technique for the arm stroke. While doing this exercise, there is no need to be in a hurry. Take your time and do the movements accurately. The first drill is to catch up water. The starting position is when your arm is straight. Then you need to do the movement downwards using only the forearm. Do you know what a high elbow position feels like and how to achieve it? If not, I will explain. It is the position of the arm when the elbow is in the highest point of the arm shape during the stroke. To achieve it, you need to rotate the forearm so that the palm and inside part of the hand is facing downwards and the elbow and outside part of the hand faces upwards. In this exercise, you do the movement only with the forearm, while the elbow and the arm stay in the same position. You do the motion until your arms bend 90 degrees at the elbow, and then you return your hands forward. The next drill is the end of the stroke. The start of this exercise is when the arm and forearm are perpendicular to each other with a 90 degrees angle. From this position, you perform the last part of the stroke, to straighten your arms only with the forearm. Don't do this exercise quickly, and make sure to focus that the band is always well tensioned. After these two important drills, you need to do full butterfly arm strokes. Remember what you felt while doing the previous exercises. Keep a high elbow position while doing the stroke and straighten the arms in the end of the stroke. By doing these exercises before swimming practices, you'll gain the correct technique much faster because you'll already have the correct feeling in your body of how you should do the stroke. Now we are going to look at some swimming drills in order to set up the technique. Drills are very helpful, they will help you to get the feeling of how you should do the movements. So while you swim these drills, try to memorize how they feel and try to repeat them while you're swimming. In the beginning of the stroke, it is crucial to grab the water, as you have done in the dryland exercise. For this, your arm needs to be in the correct position so that your elbow faces upwards. After this, you continue doing the movement downwards using the forearm. In comparison with the dryland exercise, where the arm and elbow don't move, in the water, the arm and elbow perform a small movement downwards with the hand, but the elbow is always high. In butterfly, the arm soak is done using the vintage style keyhole trajectory as you can see in the video. In the first part of the stroke, when you grab the water, the swimmer does the first half of a circle. In this phase, I don't recommend applying the maximum amount of power, since the main goal is to catch the water. If you apply too much power in the beginning of the stroke, there is a high risk that the arm will simply pass through the water. The main reason is that firstly, you need to gain the resistance of the surface, so that you have something to push against. And once you catch the surface, you can apply maximum power. Let's imagine you are swimming, and you want to grab the swimming pool lane rope and pull it. What happens if you apply the maximum power in the very beginning, at the same time as you grab it? There is high risk that you won't grab it properly, and your fingers will slip. However, it will be much better if you first grab the lane roll properly, so that your hand is in a comfortable position, and then apply maximum power. You will be able to pull the lane rope strongly. 
The same applies to swimming. Firstly, grab the water and then apply maximum power. After the grabbing phase of the arm stroke, you can apply much power, without the risk that your hands will go through the water. At this point, you draw the second half of a circle. The entire stroke should be done smoothly and with little acceleration of the stroke speed. Remember the feelings that you've had in your arms and body while doing the dryland exercises and perform the end part of the stroke in the same way. Now, let's take a look at the mistake that many swimmers often make. During the first phase of the stroke, their elbow drops down. Therefore, the swimmer doesn't grab the water and the arms go through the water without getting speed. The main reason for this mistake is incorrect position of the arms. In the starting position, the elbow looks downwards, when it should be facing upwards. Thus, the swimmer doesn't get any speed after the arm stroke. However, I have good news. It is easy to fix this problem. Your arms and elbows should find the correct starting position, as I described earlier, when the elbow faces up and the inside part of the hand and palm faces down. In this position, it is impossible to do the arm stroke incorrectly, as we saw before, with the elbow dropping down. When you learn this, you will feel a big difference and your speed will certainly increase. It is very important that you understand this common mistake and learn correctly how you need to perform the stroke. Let me know in the comments if this is clear or if I should spend more time explaining it. While improving your butterfly technique, I recommend swimming 25 or maximum 50 meters. While swimming longer distances, you will get tired and your technique will start to suffer. The first technique drill is butterfly swimming, but using only one arm to perform the stroke. During this, the second arm will rest in front, gliding forward. This exercise allows you to focus on only one arm of the stroke. You can do the breath to the side or to the front. For beginners, I recommend to take a breath to the side, since the upper part of your body stays more relaxed due to the low position of the head. You can swim a similar exercise, doing arm strokes with only one arm, but keeping your second arm located near your leg. In this drill, you also should concentrate on arm stroke technique. However, this technique drill is more difficult, since the second arm is near the leg and the shoulder is open for the streamline, which is why the water resistance is larger. Remember all the elements of the arm stroke, the grabbing phase, the phase when you apply the largest power and the end of the stroke. To achieve a technique that is correct and stable, you need to swim these technique drills a lot. I recommend to swim as much as possible the arm strokes with only one arm. You can regularly change arms from right to left every 25 or 50 meters. The next technique drill is an arm stroke using only the right hand while the left stays in front. You will then do left arm stroke, while the right hand stays in front. Following this, you will do the arm stroke with both arms. By swinging this drill, you will combine the arm strokes, which you train separately. Butterfly swimming with freestyle kicks is a very useful drill for all swimmers. You need to focus on the arm strokes, keeping any fluctuations as small as possible. Remember, all unnecessary fluctuations up and down will decrease your speed. While swinging this drill, keep your freestyle kicks working all the time. Remember to get the high position in the water and perform powerful arm strokes. By swimming this drill, your arm stroke will improve a lot.
When your technique is stable, you can use pedals for swinging butterfly. With their help, you will improve your power and strength in your arms as well as your back. Swimming with pedals will feel much harder, so that's why it's good to continue first focus on the technical elements. There is a great drill for the hand return and the arm stroke. This starts when both hands are located near the legs. Firstly, you return only one hand and do kicks. Then you return the second hand and do another set of kicks. And then you do the arm stroke with both hands and leave the hands near the legs. In this technique drill, your attention won't be distracted by anything except the arm stroke. It will help you to gain and train the arm stroke technique. After watching this video, you might have some remaining points to clarify. I recommend to watch this video several times to understand all the elements of the butterfly arm stroke. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Every professional swimmer swims these drills or similar drills in order to improve their technique. Add these drills to your training program and by swimming them, you'll master the correct technique. Swimming training should be regular. What do you think? How many times per week do you try to train? What's enough and what's not? Like the video and subscribe to the channel.